So if you don't already know, I went to a boarding school from when I was 13 to 18 years old. And in the five years I was at boarding school, there have been many, many stories which I have been yet to share with you. So I thought I'd start off with a little bit of context about the school I went to. So unlike a normal school, obviously boarding, you were there for pretty much the whole term. Here is the basic layout of the school day. 7.20 you'll be wake up, someone will come around and try and wake you up. I'd always be up before that because I hated being woken up. And then you'd shower, get changed and go for breakfast. Then obviously you'd go to school like any other school. And finally at 3.40 the school day would finish and you'd head back to the boarding house. It's like a mass migration. From four you'd have an hour and a half of free time until 5.30. Now at 5.30 you'd either have food or this is when you start your prep time. And basically prep was homework. For example, if you had your tea at 5.30 till six, then from six until eight, you'd be stuck in prep. After prep, you'd have this free time and usually the boarding house would do stuff like toast for like snacks. During this period of time, you have free time where you can chill in the common room, watch TV. During lower school, you're restricted to like the school grounds during this time from like eight till nine. At nine o'clock, you'd have a roll call where any announcements would be made for the day. And then finally from 9 until like 10.30 would be another bit of free time, although this is restricted to the boarding house, um, almost like the wind down section. And then you'd have like your bedtime depending on what age you were. So as you can imagine, there are very limited times when you could do things. In addition from year 7 to year 9, if you have phones or laptops, you'd have to hand them in at bedtime and you could pick it up at 4 o'clock the next day. So anyway, uh, that's enough rambling. Let's get on to the actual juicy stories that you've been waiting for. So in sixth form, we had this event called Icebreaker, which is basically to break the ice between new sixth formers that had just come in. This night was looking to be quite a heavy drinking night initially um, from the outset. Bear in mind, a lot of these people are like 16, 17, some people 18 because um, it was for year 12s and year 13s. That kind of thing was just swept under the rug at that point, like they weren't really too bothered about it. However, a lot of drugs were going around at this party and one of my close friends actually ended up getting spiked because he was a boarder in one of the boarding houses and he was technically meant to be staying at one of my other friend's houses that night. However, he was in a really bad state. Like, I'm talking the ambulance came for starters, which obviously is a bad sign. Obviously the event is organized by like the school, so the school had to be told about this. And obviously when you're in this kind of like paralytic state from drugs, he was freaking out about being expelled. However, he told them that he'd been spiked. So obviously if you've been spiked, there's nothing really that they can do because you've not voluntarily done these things. I remember him actually texting me in the morning being like, I think I'm going to be expelled. Um, I've got a meeting about it and stuff like that. It was like all very, very tense. Um, however, luckily he managed to get away with it. It's all fine. But yeah, that was a, a very close call because he was a boarder. He also got banned from my, my other friend's house. In addition to him being nearly kicked out, he also got the event banned permanently. So this next story involves a group of guys in my year who thought that they would brew some cider in their dorms. Bear in mind, these guys are year 11 at the time, 15, 16 year olds, and they ended up getting a vat and they put it in one of their wardrobes and they brewed cider and it actually turned out that some of like the teaching staff knew about this. They also nicked some of the alcohol from the chemistry labs. They literally stole like some pure alcohol to put in the cider. Like, I don't think this would have been very safe to drink. So like with everything in boarding, eventually it gets found out and they face the consequences of it. Luckily, they weren't expelled. However, everyone involved got a three day suspension, which seems relatively minor. Seeing as these people were underage initially to even be brewing alcohol, let alone doing it in school. Like, that seems crazy. I can't lie. <laughs> So in boarding school, the kind of shower situation was a lot of cubicles. Once I remember I woke up and like I was tired because I'm not exactly the morning person. So like I normally do, I jumped out of bed. Now I went to the showers, got in the shower, just basically standing in there trying to wake up, feeling tired as anything. Anyway, the next minute I, I noticed 
the shadow, like, the shadow under the door moving, and I'm like, what? Am I, am I seeing stuff? Anyway, I look up, and I see someone facing directly at me, looking at me in the shower. I'd forgot to, like, lock the door. I'm blaming it on me being extremely tired that day. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if you're watching this and you had to go through that. I'm sure you're scarred for life, and I profusely apologise. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's had someone walk in on them in the shower. I think they probably felt more embarrassed, to be honest. <laughs> Okay, so this next story involves someone in my boarding house, and for the purposes of the video and not to expose them, um, I'm going to call them Bob. So Bob was quite the player, you might say. So Bob had this girlfriend who was also in the boarding house, and one thing that's important to know is that boys' and girls' corridors were separated, and at night they were locked. So Bob, being the player that he is, and Wanting a bit of action, he would sneak into his girlfriend's dorm. Now, his girlfriend shared a dorm with one other person that time. So, Bob and his girlfriend, let's call her Laura. So, anyway, Bob and Laura decided that it would be okay to do the deed whilst someone else was sleeping in that room. And this didn't happen once. This happened on multiple occasions. That's kind of disgusting. And there are many people that used to sneak about, although this is just like one instance that I know about. Like even during the days you weren't allowed to like go down like the girls' corridor or like girls weren't allowed down the boys' corridor. Although that does not say it didn't happen because it definitely did. Although if you got caught, there would be a repercussion because of it. Uh, to my knowledge though, Bob never got caught. So um, he was doing pretty well at being <laughs> sneaky. Fucking boarding house antics were weird. Anyway, that's been the end of this video. Comment down below your favorite story or any stories that you might have from your time at school or boarding school. Subscribe if you're new, like the video if you want, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.